Welcome back to Linux Network. Today we're taking a look at XTX Linux 25.3. So let's break it down. First things first, what is XTX? XTX is a Linux distribution which is basically a ready to use operating system built on top of Linux. Think of it like Windows or Mac OS but way more customizable and open source. The latest version XTX 25.3 is based on Ubuntu 24.04.2 LTS and Debian, two of the most stable and popular Linux foundations. XTX 25.3 comes with KDE Plasma and GNOME, these are the most beautiful and user-friendly desktop environments for Linux. They are sleek, modern and packed with features. It also includes WayDroid, a tool that lets you run a full Android system right inside Linux. That means you can install any user favorite Android apps directly on your PC. With WayDroid, you can run Android apps seamlessly on your Linux system. Want to use Instagram, TikTok or even mobile games on your PC? XTX makes it possible. Just install WayDroid, set it up and you're good to go. The KDE Plasma desktop is not just pretty, it's super functional. You get tons of customization options, widgets and themes to make your desktop truly yours. XTX comes with Refracta, Snapshot and Refracta Installer. These tools let you create your own custom Linux system. Here's a cool feature. XTX can run entirely from your computer's RAM. If you have at least 4 gigabits of RAM, you can boot XTX into memory, remove your USB or DVD and enjoy a blazing fast system. Everything runs super smooth. XTX is designed to be user-friendly, so even if you're new to Linux, you'll be right at home. Here's how to get started. Head over to the official XTX website and download the ISO file for XTX 25.3. Use a tool like Rufus or Balena Etcher to create a bootable USB drive with the XTX ISO. Plug the USB into your computer, restart and boot from the USB. You'll see a menu with different boot options. Choose Load to RAM if you want the fastest experience or just boot normally to try it out. At the login screen you can choose between KDE or GNOME. Take a moment to explore, it's pretty intuitive. Now let's talk about the star of the show, WayDroid. Here is how to install it. Open the terminal and type the following commands one by one. Once installed, you can launch WayDroid and start using Android apps. Just remember, you need to set up Google Play services if you want to use the Play Store. Just to let you know, not all Android apps will work perfectly, but most popular ones should run just fine. Give it a try and see what works for you. Here's another awesome feature, Refracta Snapshot. This tool lets you create your own custom version of XTX. Let's say you've installed your favorite apps, tweak the settings and customize the desktop. With Refracta Snapshot, you can save all those changes into a new ISO file. To do that, open Refracta Snapshot from the menu. Follow the on-screen instructions to create your custom ISO. Once done, you can use that ISO to install your personalized XTX system on any computer. It's like creating your own Linux distro. This is perfect for developers, teachers or anyone who wants to share a pre-configured system with others. Before we wrap up, here are a few tips to get the most out of XTX 25.3. If you want to try XTX without installing it, you can run it in VirtualBox or GNOME boxes. When you boot XTX, log in as the user user with the password live. If you install it on your hard drive, you can create your own user account during setup. To use WayDroid, make sure you're running the Ubuntu desktop with Wayland. You can select this option from the login screen. And remember, XTX is all about experimentation. Don't be afraid to play around and explore. All around, XTX 25.3 is an incredible Linux system that combines the power of KDE Plasma with the versatility of Android apps. Whether you're a Linux newbie or a seasoned user, this one's definitely worth a try. And as always, if you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.